Hi, my name is Maria Quintanilla, virtual content specialist for World Languages, working in partnership with the Division of Multilingual Learners. Please continue to check our Teach Hub folder where you can find all the resources that we continue to create. This video will give you an overview of how to guide students through a jigsaw puzzle activity in your classroom. The jigsaw technique is a method of organizing classroom activity that makes students depend on each other to succeed. It breaks classes into groups and it breaks assignments into pieces that the group assembles to complete the puzzle, the jigsaw puzzle. Your colleagues might be using this technique in their classrooms too. In Spanish, we call this una actividad rompecabezas. This is great when you're introducing a longer text or resource in the target language and it makes it more accessible and manageable for students. Basically, each student in a group takes responsibility for one chunk or section of a text, then teaches it to the other group members. Start by dividing your students into groups of four or five or six students. Jigsaw works better when you have the same number of students in each group. Now that you have divided your students, divide your text. It's important to divide your text into the same number of sections as the same number of students in your groups. If you cannot divide your students into perfectly even groups, it's okay just assign uh, two students the same section, for example, and those two students will be responsible for the same section. You may also want to consider pre-assigning groups before you start your class. That way you know the skills and abilities that you'll have in each group. You know your students best. Then assign one chunk or one section of the text to one student in each, in each group, right? The say uh, one group, one section, each student. Now, every group has one person responsible for one section of the article or of the text. At the first, you know, the first step of this activity is to have students working in with their groups, their original groups or their home groups. But everyone is reading their own section independently on their own. That student reading that section of the article will become the expert of that section in the group and later will teach that chunk to the rest of his or her group. After students have had the time to read their own section, then have students meet in expert groups. They meet with all the students that were assigned the same section of the text. This is the first time that they will be meeting outside their home group. They are meeting now with an expert group. Within the expert group, students share ideas and prepare a, some kind of presentation to take back to their original group or their home group. And it is the responsibility of the expert group to make sure everyone in the expert group understands the content before they go back to their original group, their home group. And if one student, if one student in the expert group isn't getting it, make sure that the expert group works together to help that student get his or her presentation ready, some extra preparation before they go back to their home groups. Now it's time for student experts to go back to their original groups, their home group. Um, each student now will take turns presenting their chunk of information, their presentation that they got together, and they will present that information to, to their group. The rest of the group is listening carefully, taking notes, and maybe even asking questions. Then every person in the original group or every person in the home group takes turns presenting his or her section of the text. The last part of the jigsaw activity requires you to assess students, all students, on all the content. You can do this via quiz or an exit ticket. Just be sure to include all the context chunks 
and also that you have provided the students with the full text or the full resource before assessing them. Also consider how you'll use this resource now that all your students are familiar with it, how you'll use this resource with interpersonal discussion and presentational tasks to help students with annotating text or using text evidence when they discuss and write, see video 19. Hola, soy la señora Quintanilla. Vas a trabajar en grupos, en una actividad que se llama rompecabezas, a jigsaw activity. Cada persona en el grupo recibe una sección de un artículo. Cada persona en el grupo recibe una sección de un artículo. Tú eres responsable de leer esa sección independientemente, tal vez en silencio. Después de leer tu sección en tu grupo original, te reúnes con compañeros en un grupo de expertos. All students from different groups that were assigned the, assigned the same section of the text or article as yourself will get together. En este grupo de expertos, tú vas a compartir ideas acerca de tu propia sección y vas a preparar una pequeña presentación para cuando vuelvas a tu grupo original o grupo de casa, tú puedes explicar tu sección. Vas a volver a tu grupo original, tu grupo de casa, y vas a compartir con tu grupo de casa lo que tú preparaste con el grupo de expertos. Tú eres el experto de esa sección o la experta en esa sección. Cuando un compañero está presentando, los demás compañeros están tomando apuntes, están escuchando o están haciendo preguntas al experto o a la experta. Después de la clase, revisa todo el texto. Tú eres responsable por el texto completo y podrás utilizarlo en conversaciones interpersonales y presentaciones y escritos. That was just a brief overview on how to implement the Jigsaw activity in your classroom. Thank you so much for all the work that you do for world language learners. I look forward to continue to work with you throughout the rest of the school year. Please reach out to the Division of Multilingual Learners with any questions or feedback. Bye for now.